It looks late, but really it's overcast. And it gets, it starts getting dusk about 4.30 around here, so. <laughs> and my lipstick is dark, Zeb told me. It is I dark. I realize I normally put like a lighter lip gloss over it, but I didn't. So today I'm going kind of goth. I'll just go with that. It's fine. It looks great. <laughs> We are live. We go live every Thursday at four o'clock mountain time. And we show you guys the stuff that we have new in the shop, things that are restocked, things that we're decorating within our own home. All of it you can be picked up at jrvhome.com. My sister-in-law Mariah is on here. So she's dropping links. If you're watching the replay, click that live chat because you'll actually get to see the links for the things um, as we're showing them, which makes it helpful. If you have any questions, comment and we'll try to answer them. These might be my favorite new thing that we have here. These Those little mugs. were a job to find. So How many did you get? Did you get I enough? Have <laughs> I have eight. I have, I had, well, I did, I'd never ordered it before. And so I always, you know, order a small amount to make sure they're good quality. Um, and then I've got 16 more on order in case we sell out. But so these are Moscow, Moscow meal mugs and they're solid copper. And everywhere I was looking for to buy them wholesale, is actually at what I have these priced at retail. Like I legit kept shopping until I found somebody that was half the price of what everybody else was charging. Cause I wasn't gonna charge $22 for a mug. I don't care if it's solid copper, it just wasn't gonna happen. I think you probably could have made that happen. These are that cool. Well, or so three. what are they priced at? Um, we'll have to wait for Mariah to post the <laughs> link. I, I can't remember. I'm going to move exactly. a couple of stools and bring the camera closer so that, because oh. this is definitely wider than the table we use at the shop, so I don't have to reach so far. All right, I'm going to pull up comments. Um, and if you're new here and you love hauls, farmhouse, DIYs, um, those types of things, make sure you give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you never miss a video. I'm just going to get comments on here. Marlene says she has one of those cups. And Emma is on here, Heidi's daughter. Hello, hello, hello. All right. There we go. Now we're up. closer. Is Mariah on here is the question. I don't see her. Oh, I, she, think, she I think that they're like $11.95 or $12.95, but don't hold me to it. Oh, Mariah is there. Mariah, can you link these so I know how much they are? So they're 100% copper. They're just like those copper water bottles that I happen to sell out of, which also, by the way, I found a new manufacturer that is less than what we were paying before. So when we get restock in the copper water bottles, they're gonna be less. Nice. I'm a good shopper. So anyways, I'm super excited about these. I ordered some for the farmhouse too. The nice thing is they keep your drinks really um, cold and they call them Moscow, I can't even see it, Moscow Mule. I think that's a alcoholic beverage. Could be. But I don't know what's in it. Maybe it needs to be cold, which is why it comes in a copper mug. So chime in if you know what a Moscow Ma Moscow Mule. Moscow Mule. I can't even say That's that That's a lot word. of M's together. So, so I, I'm these hoping... Are, these are solid copper. So we got these new candles. Are these a new scent or just back in stock? Because I don't know that I smelled this one. This one says Tree Farm on it. We did. But so whenever I buy candles, I always buy the wax melts first. Mm. Um, and so since we liked it, I went ahead and bought the actual candle. So now we carry Tree Farm in the melt and the candles. So this, this smells like a tree farm, but it reminds me of when I was a kid and my mom used to take us to the mall and we would go get our picture with Santa. And that's that's what it reminds me of. It's like they were pumping this smell into the Well, it smells like trees. Yeah. Sometimes stuff that smells like evergreen smells like pine salt. Yes. No bueno, this does not smell like it's, pine salt. It's got like a sweet pine smell to it, if that makes sense. All right, Mariah linked the um, candles. Mariah, did you find the link for these mugs yet? Let me know because Christy just put them up, so we need to make sure that they're there. Um, yeah, three. that's the reason why I order the wax melts first. If they pass that test, then they come in candle form to the shop. So we've got lavender, vanilla, and these are these are fun in the, uh, the, the nice cream in the jar. So this is part of our Christmas scents, and when what we have in stock is gone, we won't be restocking, and lavender, vanilla is my new scents I'm carrying into 2021. I gotta be careful taking deep hits of this lavender. It might calm me down too much. All right, so a Moscow Mule <laughs> is made with vodka, ginger beer, lime juice, garnished with a slice or wedge of lime. So is it good cold? Is that why they serve it in copper mugs? I'm That's what I'm curious about. Because the copper is thin enough, like if you had like coffee or something in here, it would, be hot. It would probably work, but you'd want to hold it out here. You wouldn't want to be like, oh, like. Ooh. Leslie said, I bought four mugs so I can have a Moscow Mule. 
Sweet. Um, Mariah also linked the wax melt. So we're going to keep going through scents here. This I'm is little... clean cotton. Yeah, new scent. I took a chance. I didn't have the wax melt on it. Have you not smelled this yet? Oh, I have smelled it. Christy loved it. This is, this might be, the clean cotton might be the best smell I've ever smelled. It's like, if your house is dirty, burn that candle and it will smell clean. It, and it doesn't smell yeah. like Tide. So it smells like laundry, but it's kind of like the pine smell. It has like a, a sweet, like, like you're outside in, in it's it. It's good. It comes in the melts too, the clean cotton. Um, Christy it ships for me and she's super picky about scents. In fact, I'm going to tell you that she doesn't even like all the ones that we sell that are popular. She <laughs> flippin love that. So I know that she's going to be getting that she does wax melts. So I know she's going to get the wax melts like crazy. Um, the wax melts I think are, well, I think they're like five, six ninety five for the wax melts. And then the candles are twenty eight ninety five. They're all soy. They have cotton wicks, hand poured um in the usa so i got dressed up today no i have this shirt is dirty it's a t-shirt i just put lipstick on it's, it's my little trade secret put lipstick nobody knows i cut. take it back i love the georgia peach more <laughs> that one's good too huh <laughs> yes. i didn't get the candle yet in this one that one smells like peach rings and i want to eat it it does <laughs> it does ivy just popped on and she said she loved the clean cotton too georgia is good I'm getting new scents in for Peach. like January, and so these are kind of trickling in. The Antique Candle Company, they're all super, super good. Odelia's on here. While we're smelling stuff. Lisa this, wants to know my lipstick. I gotta go to the bathroom. You gotta go look at it. This is the Ocean Air Soap Back in from the uh, Prix de Provence. I don't speak French, so that's probably pretty hammered. Um, but the 250 gram bar, they're big. The Ocean Air is one of my favorites. We have a hard time keeping it around. Yeah, it's always out of stock. We just restocked it today. It's totally, if you're shopping for a man for Christmas, it's a really good soap. This is a good one. All right, so I am wearing Viva Glam 3, 619, and it's MAC. I think that this particular color is one of their things that they're doing for like a good cause or whatever. So, actually there's someone coming. Looks like they're going to leave something on the doorstep. Okay. I should probably tell just, them just go tell them, hey, we're live. I don't know. She was talking about the lipstick. I don't know if she yeah. talked about this. This fun little case here. It's glass. It's pressed glass, not cut, but it's got ridges. I don't know if you can see them very well on there. But this is a just super fun kind of brass little uh, little case. I'm trying to it's I'm trying to get it close enough to show so you. So it's beveled on top and then this is pressed on the bottom and there's got a little detail. So there we go. But on the bottom side there's like detail around this ring here. It's hard to see. It's very very fine. It's it's a petite it's oval. It's like pressed tin. Yeah, look up petite oval Mariah when you're looking for this link. I don't know the exact price cuz they just came in. It's actually made in India, so this is brass. Got a nice thick bottom, and this is perfect for like a tween or a teenager. Like if you're getting like a cute ring or earrings, this would just be a really great spot for that. Let's see who is dropping. Oh, it's Christy's on there. Christy, how much is this one? So I can tell. We'll talk about the headbands in a minute. I'm using the camera to like like a mirror to see myself. Ruffles have ridges. Yeah, these are so so cute. The thing about these little boxes is that I've been waiting on them since June and come to find out they're no longer going to carry them. So what we have in stock <laughs> oh, no. is all they're going to get. How many did you get of those? Um, I think there's six That's of the these. fun part oh. about boutique shopping. Sometimes you get lots of really cool stuff and then sometimes they're like, all right, we only had one run on that and now we're moving on to the next season stuff. These are just stuff. really, really popular. Oh, we have five of them, sorry. And they're okay. $7.95 for these. So if you want one, you better snag one. They're really delicate. I even love the way they bent the brass over the glass. Just lots and lots of detail. Looks totally antique, but it's not. And for $7.95, it's a great present for Christmas. All right. So this, this works for me, except for like the back part of my head would get super sunburned. So I oh have no, to Oh no, the tree farm wax are sold out. Mary, um, Already, email huh? Caitlin and I will order some more if I can get them before the season's over. All right, so do you guys remember these? They sold out in one day last time, and then I could no longer get any more. 
Did you, where did you find these? I at? found uh, that they finally got them back in stock. Oh, nice. But everybody was super sad. And this time there's some different colors. I'm wearing the purple. Is that the purple one? Yeah. Yeah, that's got purple on it. So and that yeah. one's real purple. Is that the same one? Yeah, that's just where the oh, flower okay. hits. Gotcha. This just has lots of flowers. But everybody knows I love Lehigh purple. So we've got purple, this new turquoise color, which Zeb is debuting for you right there. Um, and I then feel the rest. I feel like Pirates of the Caribbean, but like the old Orange school. Orange for Lolly. Um, like Swiss Family Robinson style. Tracy says, I have my headband on, headband on today and I love them. Nice. And Jane Brown says, welcome to the 60s. Thanks. <laughs> you would have long locks, but it would only like grow from here down and then you could do Willie Nelson braids with it. Yeah. Hey, Willie's still going. Stock up on these if you've been, if you missed out last time. We've got them in, hopefully that's something we can keep in stock because they're fun. All right, next, we have one box of cotton. We used to sell these stems individually, but we've decided because they're a pain in the butt to ship. To ship just one? <laughs> to ship, to sell them in sets of 12. Oh. But the price is really great because here's what happens. I have a particular vendor that I shop from, from and when I spend a certain dollar amount, they're like, hey, thank you, here's 12 cotton stems. <laughs> so whenever they do that, I'm just gonna sell them in a set of 12. So for $39.95, that's a good deal. You get 12 of these cotton stems. We only have one box, so let the Hunger Games begin. And every time I spend a certain amount of money with them, I'll get another box and I'll put it online and let you guys know. So it's kind of like, you know, the more you guys shop, the more cotton we get, and then I can give good deals. It's like a good, because Christy always is like, shipping one stem's a pain. I was like, look, if we sell the whole box, you can ship it in the box it came in, which is perfectly sized. Are these on sale? Or is that something else that I'm thinking of? Um, 144 Decor, make sure you email Caitlin, and we will make sure you get taken care of. Um, that is, what did you say? Are they on sale? Yes, they are. Okay. Sorry, I was... I was seeing one little more Noel more banner. This is on our tree. If you've seen pictures of it on Instagram, or we did kind of like a little Christmas tour the other day of the house. They're over 60% off. We've marked them down to $5.95. Oh, and the story is you I can't have even buy the wood they're made out of for that. Well, I think it's chipboard. No, it's uh, wood. No, it's real wood. Oh, they're actual it's wood. Like, it's like plywood. I'm pretty sure I put chipboard in the listing, but it's actual wood. It's like so plywood. even better. Yeah. $5.95. It's over 60% off because I bought 40 of them. Oh. On clearance. I didn't realize I had that many and I was going through my Christmas stuff and I'm like, those are going on Mega. Because I'd rather have people enjoy them this year than store 40 till next year. So if you've been waiting on them, we've got these. These are actually great gifts too to give to your neighbors. All right. These are cool. They are. I actually love anything with like old branding or newspapers and it looks like they've done a good job at recreating this. All right, one more I don't think that these... I will... There's a DI price tag in my sweater and it's scratching me, sorry. Oh, it's getting your arm. I was thrifting today. I will make sure Caitlin gets back to you. I'm sure that she responds usually like in 24 hours, so. All Some right. little bow on the front. Yes, so lavender. this lavender, super excited about. Again, one of those things I've been like trying to find a decent price. You guys have probably seen my giant lavender basket, which is a great price for what it is. I think it's like 50-ish dollars for the giant lavender. But that's not in everybody's price range. These are priced at $8.95 and they come wrapped up with the bow and the like antique looking newspaper for $8.95. I think they look best in a set of three. And I feel like for that price, you could afford to buy three of them. Well, let's see what they look like in the window. All right, we're you gonna show you. You wanna go put them back there and I'll move the camera? Or oh, Janice says <laughs> copper also purifies water. It does, it has to sit in there for like 48 hours but it has some antimicrobial properties and your body doesn't naturally produce it. So you have to get it from other sources like mugs. So I was super excited to find these because like I said, I'll show you my big lavender basket that we sell that I love. Can I reach it? I don't know. Can you reach it? I did. I just hopped up. So this one is $69.95, right? And it's gorgeous. It actually, a lot of people mistake it for real, but it's spendy, right? An investment. Look how cute those are, $8.95. See them, we're, we got a little lavender growing in the window now. And oh. it'll, it'll grow all year long. I like it. 
They probably can't see that though. Oh, we'll show them. Close we'll show up them. In a, in a we're minute. gonna give you guys a little tour in a little we'll, bit. We'll come along. At the end, we've been working uh, on lots of shiplap and the banister, so. And tiles up, so we'll show you that too. Ooh, yeah, we got a little bit of tile in the bathroom in the shower. Thanks, Mariah. Just linked. If you're looking for the big investment, Mariah linked the big lavender basket. I put it on top of my fridge and freezer because it looks good. There are lots of screws in here. So that's actually <laughs> mine, but we have them back in stock. These are the enamel canisters that we carry that are, I'll show you how close they are to actual antique French enamel. They did a good job. It's, this they like nailed the color. Is from France. It's also dusty and dirty. I'm not selling it, but this is reproduction. You, you, you picking up what I'm throwing down? These I love for, I have actually screws in them that need to go in our bar stools. Oh, well, that's also, what those are for. I was, I've was i been looking for those screws, so it's good to know that they're in oh, there. Oh, you should have asked me, I would have told you. I just thought that they I got lost. I put them lost. there so they wouldn't get lost. Well, but they got lost. <laughs> they're really good for, put what well, we have one in the bathroom and we have, what do you need Harrington? Not you. I have to, oh, are you gonna go get the boys? Yeah, but I have to go get the Okay. Uh, okay. Harrington's well, here. He's been putting insulation we'll in the garage. We'll talk to you about Chet later. That's his cat. Goodbye. Chet, Chet the cat. Um, anyways, what was I saying? Oh, I like to put band-aids and uh, neosporin in them. So I oh, keep one in the yes. bathroom. So if, there, if anybody gets cut, you can easily find that. And it's all right there instead of finding the big first aid kit. So Donna says she loves, loves, loves the lavender. I think we have eight of those in stock. If people like them, I'll order more. All right. I'm going to talk about bags right now. Let's talk these about are limited good. edition bags. Li like, limited as in she's like, oh, I'll get these and see if I like them. And then they stopped carrying them. Donna says she needs a picture. Chat. I'll share a picture. So <laughs> I ordered these. These have been out of stock. Would you tell him he cannot change in the front yard? I'm, those are not shorts. I'm sorry if you're my neighbor right now. Anyways. I ordered these back in June or something, and they've been out of stock ever since. And Christy was like, well, good news, they came in. Bad news, they no longer carry them. Oh, thanks, thanks for that one. So I believe these are $22.95. Don't hold me to it, we have one of each. They're super cute grain sacks. And they're different animals. So compression shorts are not shorts. I saw, yeah, I saw you changing out there. All right, here's the other one. This is the one with the sheep on it, which is my personal favorite. I also like the rooster. I like all of them. The pig is pretty darn cute. The chick starter bag is good. Oh, Christy says we have 12 lavender. Okay, so here's 12 the, lavender, all right. Here's the pig. The pig here's is, the that's pig. a good pig. You usually don't see them like that. You get like a side what profile What are you, Charlotte's Web? It's a real good pig. Yeah, I'm feeling it right now. Yeah, so we have one each of these. So if you like them, that they include free shipping. Uh, make sure you grab one because they don't carry them anymore. Oh, we got a side profile sheep. Apparently, I, I buy the things that are real popular, so I apologize in advance for that one. Mariah says, that will do, pig. That's from Babe. All right, let's talk about pie. So last time, we had the three pie tray. It's back there if you move your head. It's right there. And we're almost through those pies. But when I was reordering some stuff, I noticed that they have- She comes in the room, she came into the pies. house today. She's like, what's better than three pies? Five pies. <laughs> and I could not agree with her more. Yeah, and realistically on the holidays, five pies is how many we have. So I was like, that's perfect. So I'm now going to exchange the three pie for the five pie. Now the five pie is a little bit more expensive. I think that the three pie is like 50-ish dollars and this is for two more pies. It's like 20 more bucks. It's like 70 something for the five pie. And these, these come out. I don't know that I'd cook a pie in these. No. They're for putting your tins in. We'll, I'll demonstrate right now. I have a pie right over Fiona, here. Fiona, um, oh, 76.95. So now you get it. Now you know the exact price. Fiona, Christy's on here. So I'll have her remind me that you want more blue tie dye joggers in plus sizes. We will order those. See how that just slides right in there and how, how cool that is? The totes are $22.95. Mariah, have you um, linked those yet? I don't think she has. $22.95 on the totes. Mariah will drop that link here in a minute. But I'm super excited about the five. We have one for the farmhouse and I bought one for the website because it's kind of spendy. So I don't know if everybody else needs five pies, but if you need one, we got you. 
I don't know of anyone in this world that doesn't need five pies. Helen says, I'm trying to upholster my kitchen chairs. Are you selling something that I could reupholster with? You are on the right channel for that. We'll show you in a second. Oh, Mariah just dropped those, $22.95. I'll show you my chair adjusted yesterday. So we had this really cool scooper and we were just loving on it and awesome, but it's handmade, I think, or hand assembled at least, and it sticks open. You gotta, you gotta coax it back. So Jamie's gonna just blow it out, special deal. So here's the thing. This is another one of those items. Look, it's copper and brass. It's made with antique copper and brass and it has a wood handle. I ordered six of them. They sent me one. I sold that one. Today, they sent me another one, but it's like special. So in the um, listing, it says for decor only, but I marked it half price because I would rather sell it to you half price that you can just use, or probably you could like put something in there to get it to work better. Some oil or something. Um, you can't find this. Um, I think that maybe Christy just linked, uh, uh, linked this. It's, look up the word scoop and you should be able to find this. Scoop, we'll find it. Make sure, maybe it's not live, but. Anyways, we'll find it, but any length, I think it's like $12.50, which is half off. Maybe someday they'll send me the other four I ordered. I don't know. I don't know. And hopefully they work right when we get them. Yeah, let me double check, Mariah. Are the cups, the mugs back in stock? Oh, it's not available on the online store, that's why. All right, Mariah. It, now you can do it. It's on there. So if you want the scoop, Hunger Games of the scoop, it's half off, $12.50. Just got to make it, you know. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, there it is. So... If you push it all the way. You can go back and forth. You just can't go all the way. So for that, it's half off. <laughs> yes, those mugs are back in stock. No, that is not from the shop. That's just the one I drink out of here. Yeah. I assumed as much because it looks like it's recently been washed and there's a little bit of water in the bottom. I did. I washed it because that broke the new dishwasher. I so did. I, I tipped it. it sideways while a cycle had not been fully ran. I stopped it, right? I, I turned it off, but it still had water in there, hadn't drained out. I tipped it sideways and it's got some fancy leak alarm in there and it's tripped it and now it won't start again, so. See. Needs some special electronics that I don't have time to look at right, right. now. All right, 5.95 for that, oh. Careful. I'm trying to stick There's a plate foot. set that goes with the mugs. Yes, so these are actually brand new. These are just a restock. They've been out of stock. We use them here at the farmhouse. Enamel. I got these enamel plates. We have like the smaller plate and the large plate. Oh, and just so you know, the pie tins are listed together and they're just under like three or drop, five. They There's got a, a drop, drop down, down menu. We thought that would make more so sense. So this is like a, looks like a nine inch plate and this is probably a seven, six or seven inch plate. Yeah, the, the exact measurements are there and I wash them in the dishwasher and they are food safe. So just don't leave them soaking in water for a long time because enamel, translates to painted uh Paint. donna's freaking out about the kitty joggers wait till you see them painted they're metal. painted metal right so don't leave them in soaking water for days and days and days because again they're painted metal but the reason why i bought these for the farmhouse and i'm selling them is because i don't do plastic plates or bowls or cups and my nieces and nephews come and their parents inevitably inevitably will say don't you have any plastic and i'm like listen jack six we haven't broke a dish around here in like a year. I don't have plastic. So <laughs> well, and if we do, we just chuck it and go down to Ikea and get a new one because that's where all of our plates are from right now. <laughs> um, Amy, if the feed is blurry, it is likely either your connection or your settings and you need to up your DPI to at least 720 because we film in high def. All right, someone was asking about upholstery. We so just did this chair on Wednesday. And okay. this is done with the grain sack fabric that is on the website. If you just search fabric, you can find it real easy. It'll bring up all the fabrics I, that we have. Or search the word stripe. Well, I'm trying to find the link. Mariah linked the plates, but she did I can't tell how much they are. Can you type in there how much the um, plates are? Sorry, this is just really fun to play with. And I actually feel like the more I use it, is the it better it works. Is it loosening up? <laughs> yes. But you can't go all the way. So if you haven't seen the chair that we did, there's a pic, a nice staged picture of it on community and Instagram, but. So we sell this fabric, it's $15.95 a yard. This is the three stripe. Um, we just got a few yards back in stock because whenever I get the fabric in, I always short our inventory by two yards because we like to, um, we like to give an inch or so extra every time just to make sure we're right. 
And so I shorted by two yards, but we wound up having a couple yards. So we've got the three stripe and the nine stripe that we sell. It's new grain sack fabric, so not used. So anyways, turned out great. And I'm gonna give you a little trick on, because I did not film how I did the trim because we were already live over an hour. All I did was after I cut the fabric off the edge, which I actually wound up doing with a razor blade, which made it super simple. I took all the leftovers and I cut them into strips so I didn't need to use any extra fabric. And then I hot glued along the nail line. And then I just put the fabric on the hot glue. And then before the fabric, the glue dried, I just pinched it all the way along. I did about three inches at a time. And you can't even tell that that's a bunch of little strips because none of them were super long because they were just scraps left over from cutting the edge. But it was simple and took like 15 minutes. So. I highly recommend it. Well, it turned out great. And if it un it comes undone for whatever reason, if someone catches it or a kid pulls it's on it, it's easy to fix. It's hot, glue it back on. Done. And if you have any extra strings because you didn't cut them off, it looks fine because you've got strings coming off your trim. It's like part of the look. Diane says she wants a chair back. Sorry. Well, I think it's living here now, Diane, so you're going to have to come visit yeah. it or something. When you leave chairs on my back porch that don't have seats, it's fair game. <laughs> <laughs> All um, right, let's, let's see if there's any more questions. So we have a bunch of stuff kind of back here that we've showed last week. Um, some things are back in stock. The tins are back in stock, right? Thanks, Susan. What? The tins are back in stock that what you tins? have up on your... Those They've tins? been in stock. The Christmas ones? Oh, they're not out of stock. They're okay. not out of stock. They've been in stock. I'll show you real quick because I'm basically just pointing and you guys can't see anything. Okay. Yumiko says it was smart on the trim. You know what? It wasn't even my idea. Somebody's like, you should do the ruffle trim like you did on the trees. And I was like, that's brilliant. Okay, so this stuff here. Oh, she's got her mugs up here already. Um, but yeah, the tins, the tins are in. Probably showing you all the dust. Well, so these are also my glasses. These are the recycled Moroccan glass. They're like $12 each. My nieces and nephews will not be getting these, but they can get the enamel. They don't even need a cup. They just go to the LK drinking fountain and get that <laughs> get a drink. It's right there off the kitchen. You thirsty kid, go get a drink at the fountain. Get a drink. This is where I'm hiding my keys right now so that I don't lose them in the construction mess. Oh, better turn off Ooh. the air compressor. I gotta go turn the air compressor off. Show them the salt and pepper shakers. Those are my favorite. I want you to see these. They're also on the website, $9.95. Really? I just buy stuff wholesale that I want to have in my house. So pretty much everything you see in here, I either carry or I have carried. If it's not something that we have anymore. All right. Sorry, guys. I'm trying not to jostle oh, you this? around. Oh, you jostled. I jostled. I'm not super good at moving things. Okay, do we show them everything besides clothes? I'm about to show them this apron. Okay, sweet. Diane says if she gets visitation rights. All right, you can come over, Diane. Okay, so canvas work apron with pockets in the front. It's got big enough ties. I can loop it around me. And I wear size 38 waist. So we had a canvas apron before. They stopped carrying it. Go figure. Everything I love. Um, and so I've been searching diligently she sold, she one. sold the one that she told me I could have. Yeah, Zeb didn't even get to keep one because I sold it because somebody wanted it. Because that, that's how I roll. Um, and these are less expensive, guys. $22.95. I think the other ones were like $30 at least. So the other ones a were a little bit heavier canvas, but I think I actually like this one it's better. It's hot. Yeah, it's not quite as heavy duty as the other one, but it's enough to do what I needed to do. And... It's uh, it's like a lighter weight. Yeah. I don't, I don't feel like I'm wearing a blanket. The other one was super hot. It also has, is this for your like um, hammer? Yeah, you can put a hammer there, you know, little something or other tool that you hang. A Fruit Loop necklace in case you get hungry? Absolutely. I also love, this one has this really cool hardworking accessories like old guy. This is a really good for me, like a man present. Canvas straps, grommets. Way cute. It actually comes in. With yeah, it's got grommets box. where the straps are all at, so you know they're it not comes gonna in this tear cute out. Box, like the packaging is good, perfect for both men and women. By the way, <laughs> on the back. So, anyways, these are super cute. If you've been shopping, you know, if you're trying to find things that your spouse in your life 
wants and you can't find anything, it's I just cool. like it that I can tie can it in the front. throw in some ocean air soap in the pocket. Done. I like the oh. tie in the front because I don't like reaching around and like tying things. All right. <laughs> Jamie, with your talent, you can make the aprons out of drop cloths. I don't like to sew. Time. It's always time. Although I'm not going to lie. I will be perfectly honest. We have grain sacks coming in the next few days, um, aprons. And so I will post in the group and send an email as soon as they get in because I know they're going to sell like crazy. Yeah, we sell out of those usually within the first day My or two. My gal shipped them to me and they're supposed to be here tomorrow. Let's talk about joggers because Donna from Crescent Moon is going to die. She's so excited. Um, first Is that all the stuff? Did we show most of the things? Yes, we did. I mean, short of giving you like another tour around the house like we did last week. Well, I was going to show them that olive bucket, but we could show them that after. Because okay. we didn't really talk about it. All right. So I was going to show them that and the corbel. But anyways, these are the kitty pants. So I some cat stuff is just cheesy, right? But these are so cute. They did a good job on it. It actually just looks like a pattern unless you look real close. Look how cute they are. So yeah, like from far away, it just looks like black and white, whatever. But look how cute these kitty pants are. They come from small to 3X. I love it when I can get runs that go all the way from small to 3X because if you want to have like matching ones with your kid or whatever. These have, in case you're new, these have um, cuffs on the bottom. Also, in case you're new, it's jrbhome.com. That's where you can get everything. They're super soft. They have pockets and a drawstring. So, kitty pants, they're $19.95. What's this? Donna kind of, already ordered them. What's this kind of plaid called? Buffalo plaid. Buffalo check. Which is great for the holidays, but isn't so Christmassy that it can't transition over. And these also come from small to 3X. Can also double as pajamas and no one's going to care. Back in stock, are these only go from small to XL. And our XL and 1X are the same. We've held them up together. Well, and they're soft enough to be pajamas. Like, oh. I, Jamie sleeps in these almost every night. These are what I call socially acceptable pajamas that you can wear out like they are soft that you can wear to bed but if you wear them all day it's also chill my mom will not yell at me if i wear these out <laughs> when i was in high school i wore pajamas out just like i do now if you find me any day of the week i might be in pajamas and my mom would tell me you shouldn't be wearing those out when you grow up you're going to stop doing that hasn't stopped hasn't stopped hasn't stopped all right so these are in plus size, these are, the, I think they're called red rose, but they're kind of a burnt red orangey. Yeah. They're like a vintage wallpaper um, fabric. These are my favorite. Hands down, I own these, absolutely love them. I guess we'll just bring your camera over instead of bringing me all that, of them. Yeah, that works. Restock of the butterfly print. These, um, oh, the, you know what? Here's the thing, we just got them in and people bought them before we even told people they were there, so. I'll try to get more though. Are the, the pants sold out already? So the three X and the Buffalo check. <sighs> All right, so these are the butterfly ones. These have been out. Ivy says she needs the red rose too, they're good. And more plus size. These are the ones I'm sad that I can only find them in plus size because these are a leopard print, but they're like not a cheesy one. I love the print on these. And these only come in plus size right now. I haven't been able to find them in regular size. So they're they're just all so soft. Um, yeah, all of them are super soft and we were all but sold out. We've been waiting anxiously for these joggers to come in. But if we sell out of any, I'll try to reorder and get them in. The thing with these is like, it feels like there's limited runs. And so sometimes I order them and then I can't get them again. All right, you guys ready to go see the banister? Yep. On the stairs and also, all the shiplap? I was just gonna say, if you email Caitlin, she puts a little bug in my ear. So info at jamierayvintagehome.com and she will make sure that I reorder them if I can. So I'll probably put in another order today. So email Caitlin, and if once they get back in, the kitty she'll let is you also know. sold out. Leslie says I'm trying super hard not to buy more joggers. <laughs> the struggle is real, <laughs> and I keep getting new prints because I'm like, there's a print for every day of the week. All right, let's go. We're gonna go on a little field trip. I didn't talk about these particular items a lot last time, and so I wanted to show them to you. Um, this is an antique olive bucket. So we carry two kinds. We have four of these. These are $99.95 because it's legit old. The rust is like over time. Super hard to find. Maybe where you live you can find it, but I can never find the authentic ones here. So we have these imported. But we also carry them in a less rustic, rusty 
um, that are, I think they're like forty nine ninety five. Same yeah, size. Yeah, they're more of like a reproduction. They're a reproduction one. They're a little rusty, but not quite the same. You can't have Jamie's European crusty dresser. No, but you can get this corbel. Which what, what? Which one is this called? It says it on it. Where? If you look, there's like a tag on no, the back. No, that's oh that one. No, it just says that it's California compliant for formaldehyde. Oh. <laughs> Great. No, so there's the pharmacy. This isn't that one. It's not the old hotel. It's Are you the sure it's not general the... store. This there is the general go. store portable, and it's hands down my favorite. That's why I have it at the So, there you go. Let's show them a tour of uh, Quick what tour. we have done. Most, mostly clean part of the house over here. The floor keeps getting hammered, but it's holding up. It's fine. So, everybody was worried about all those apples last week. I want to show you one week later. The kids have gone through them. They yeah. come home from school. They grab an apple. Yeah, they've been, they were rushing through. If you guys haven't seen, we can show you. We're wait, anxiously waiting for an approval so we can show you the video. I only okay. have, we don't have a ceiling in here yet. It'll, it'll, we're gonna start soon, but I only have like two lights up in here. But we've got this mostly done. We are ready to paint this wall over here. We've done a lot of repair. This is the old exterior, but very exciting. Dun, 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 dun. Oh yeah. The hose is so that the guys working on tile can have water because I have all the exterior water turned off right now because it's been freezing and I don't want to have problems while we're not living here. So that's off. So this is hooked up to the washer and dryer hookups. Yep. And our wash and dryer is <laughs> upstairs. Doesn't everybody have a garden hose hanging down? But man, I tell you what, I haven't filmed a lot of this because we did a full video on doing this, this rail here. So I was like, ah, it's mostly more of the same. But finding these angles was tricky. And it wasn't the same angle as the ship lap I put back. It wasn't. There. It blew my mind. I thought it would be exactly the same. It wasn't because to get the angle going straight up, I don't know how the math worked, but we basically ruined one of those, those uh, spindles because I had to I cut it like eight times. <laughs> so these are totally just off the shelf at Lowe's is where we got them from. Yeah. Um, but I had to go to four different Lowe's to get enough banisters for this. Plus we have an open loft area that has a banister and then over here. We went with a four by four. Tell them why we did this. We did that because I was worried about the boys just busting down the stairs, grabbing the newel post and it being shaky in about two months. So this is bolted in to this big LVL beam that runs across the whole house. And it's bolted in up top and down below. So no, no shaking. And we're gonna, we're gonna do some fun trim and some corbels on that. Yeah, put corbels up top um and make it look fun but this is yeah this is just a redwood beam it was around it was not super expensive it was about 20 bucks because yeah. it's 10 feet long and and the redwood it does cost you more because they they make sure it's straighter than the pine stuff and kind of old-fashioned i've seen a lot of floor ceilings and cheaper than like the 50 dollars for the turned um newel post that we were going to put there these so. ones these ones here in the poplar are about 50 in oak they're about 75. No, those are 30 in poplar and 50 in oak oh, the bigger the size is 70 ones. in oak yeah gotcha. so if you can find the poplar ones they're probably least expensive um but it's because oak's a harder wood wood word wood wood we've got all the ship lap jamie done. jamie did all the ship lap we're about to clean we're almost done with all the insulation we just kind of been saving those scraps in case we have a little place to put them I but the ship lap under the stairs but i'm waiting for them to put the braces I'm oh, gonna, like, yeah, I gotta, gotta bring this out and then I'll ship lap this. So I gotta bring this out so that it's flush with this front part here so it can get ship lapped and kind of like the back wall. And then we're gonna do a fun little like reading nook. There's a yeah. switch for the light for the reading nook right got there. A vintage light fixture down here that Seb's gonna retrofit. So it's very exciting. We will show you. Oh, yeah. The Riyadh tile, this is the same tile that we used and the backsplash, only much better installed. And in the, well, it's the same brand that the yeah. bathroom has. Yeah, the it. bathroom tile, same brand, but um, this is the same as the backsplash. And we've got a bench in here. This is my parents' shower. So, and our tile guy like, keeps telling me how big that this shower is. He's like, this is a big shower. Like, it's a big shower. Bigger. And the other one's like twice as big upstairs. Which reminds me, I have to go pick up those bench tops. I'll yeah. just go in the morning because I don't like to drive during rush hour. Um, what else do we? I'll, I'll give I think you the that's look it. down we at did the get at the mudroom. Yeah, the back door works again. Yeah. Don't ignore the uh, spray foam insulation pooching out. Then I just got to seal stuff up. 
yeah, I got to seal everything up and I want to make sure that it pooches out so that it's all sealed. And then I cut it off flush. Well, and I did, so down here we've got the cement floor that we haven't done anything with yet. For right now, I'm probably just going to paint it, but I ordered brick pavers because we need to bring the floor up a little bit and the brick pavers will carry out into the entryway to the mudroom. So They're the nice. sliced ones. They're like thinner than yeah. regular brick. I actually spent probably more money on those brick pavers than they were spending, but I only needed a little bit, so we're good. If you haven't seen this, they have finally framed this. Yeah, this is cased out there. just waiting on uh, sand and paint. sanding and painting, but, and then, I don't know, we might, we might move in and the island might not be done. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're going to, what I was thinking, because the island's going to have drawers, but we have to have it finished. Jamie's just going to put like a I'm just going to put doors on it. Just put a curtain over the front. Just put a curtain over the top of it and leave it open down there. Yeah. Done. That's what we're going to do. And then we'll just store all the big pots and pans under there until you get the drawers made. Yeah, I like it. We have tons of, of storage in the pantry. You know what? They Everything is so custom and unique. Like I'm having to basically touch every part of this house and do special cuts because all the doors are antique and all the windows and everything. So what is the move-in date, Mariah? Wouldn't you like to know? No, um, <laughs> <laughs> it has to be done, done, done by the 28th because we've extended our, we're refinancing to get a lower interest rate and we've extended as long as we can. We're all the way approved except for the fact that it, it has needs to be, to be finished. <laughs> and if we go past the 28th, then we have to completely redo all the paperwork. And if you've ever been self-employed, holy Batman, especially with the current situation, um, there's a lot more that goes into getting qualified on a conventional loan. So yep. we're getting everything finished for that because we didn't do a construction loan. So we used like savings to do all this. So we're pulling out some of what we initially invested because we've got some business stuff coming up that we want to reinvest in that. So yeah. pray for us that we get it done and uh, shop jrbhome.com. <laughs> shop at the website. Shop at the website. <laughs> uh, or Sh something. Shameless plug. Shameless plug. Also, jamierayvintage.com. If you need things and you want them by Christmas, like I really suggest sooner rather than later. How are the chickens? The They're chickens like are great. They're super fluffy and, and handling the weather awesome. We still need to get them. I'm having to go out in the morning and break up their water so that it's not frozen. So we're getting a, we got a little water heater coming so that it doesn't Actually have to... don't. I tried to order one on Amazon and there were like... Well, we'll just go get one down at IFA. They got them. Yeah, we gotta get chicken feed. So we're super excited. We gotta go because I have to ship lap and I spent all day getting ship lap, thrifting and doing a million other things for work stuff. So now I gotta get to my second job, which is a part-time <laughs> construction worker. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. All right. Love you guys. Thanks for tuning in and hopefully we'll get a video up, uh, you know, next couple days whenever LK approves it. So see you later. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Bye.